Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm headed with my dog Oliver to go pick up my trailer. And um, you know, it's been three months since uh, I've gotten to drive. And um, we've had rainy weekends and then we've had the coronavirus pandemic. And so everything has just been put on hold. I feel like instead of calling this begin again, I, I may need to start call this start over again. Day with everything starting to relax a little bit here in Texas. I'm going out to the track and uh, fully expect to be very rusty. Um, so I'm just gonna get some laps in, uh, have a little bit of fun, and if I can play around a little bit with maybe some tire pressures or something like that and learn a little bit, that'll be great as well. So thanks for joining me. Um, let's see what happens, and uh, I'll be checking in with you soon. Okay, so I'm at the track and obviously I'm about ready to go. Uh, we've got some kid carts getting ready to go out, so I've got a little bit of a wait before I go out. So let's see what happens. You know, in my last episode where we talked about finding out that I had a bad tire gauge, today I'm gonna do a little testing to see what happens with um, various tire pressures to see what feels best under these circumstances. It's gonna take good notes and uh, hope to share it with you. So here we go, uh, enjoy it, and let's see what we get. So that was my first session. I uh, got in about 11 laps, got my personal best. I gotta tell you, the tire pressures grew a little bit. They grew about mm, two pounds all the way around on each tire. And it still felt like there was not a whole lot of grip there. So I made some adjustments. I'm gonna go out and run about five or six laps, see how that feels, and then start playing with the pressures again. But definitely the card is better, but I think it can be more better. So anyway, let's see what happens. second session I went down on tire pressure and I suddenly lost all my grip and so while I, my lap times were just a little bit slower than what I had done in the first session I was having to drive a whole lot harder to get that lap time so we're gonna go out the third time we're gonna raise the tire pressures somewhere above what I originally had on the first run let's see how that goes hopefully I'll go a little bit quicker I'm, I'm uh, optimistic that I can find some more time just by having some more grip so stay tuned here we go
So that was my third session, and I purposely went out on tires that were overinflated. I went out with the tires at 15 pounds cold, which if you know anything about karting, that's a big number. Sure enough, the tires grew quite a bit, and while I went faster, the cart was all over the track. So that does not work. But you know what? We had to try it to see what works and what doesn't work. So now we're going to go and start taking the tire pressures down with the next time. However, I've run enough laps. I'm out of fuel, so it's time to go home. I'm going to throw some steaks on the grill, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll try it again next time.